In this section, you will learn about a special kind of aberration that can sometimes be found in imaging systems, distortion. In distorted images, there is no actual loss of information, they are simply misplaced. It describes how the image magnification varies across the field of view when the working distance is fixed. These two pictures are classic examples of distortion. This kind of distortion is very common in systems where wide angle lenses are used. Fish eye lenses are a prime example of that. Two most commonly observed distortion types are positive or pincushion distortion and negative or barrel distortion. If you think of the square in the middle, the blue square, as the reference where no distortion is present, this green shape represents barrel distortion and this red one represents pincushion. If you take a take a look at the previous slide, uh, you can easily see that both these images suffer from barrel distortion. You can quantify this distortion by calculating how much the difference is between the actual and predicted distances and this value is usually given as a percentage of the field height. You can get the lens data sheet from the manufacturer to map out distortion and correct it. Or you can use a dot target like this one and calculate the actual and predicted distances and measure the distortion. Distortion has a cubic dependence on field height, so systems with a large field of view usually suffer from large amount of distortion. Uh, these are what typical distortion curves look like. You can plot distortion uh, in the x-axis and image height in y. In the first plot here, all three colors have similar amounts of distortion, but in the second one, uh, all of them change shape. It means that both positive and negative distortions are present in the system. And this is obviously because of the cubic dependence. This kind of wavy distortion is called wave or mustache distortion. As we discussed earlier, distortion can be corrected if you know how the information is misplaced across the field of view. This is usually speci specified in one of two ways. We have already discussed uh, the first method, which is radial or geometric distortion, where we use a dot target and map out the actual and predicted distances. The second way that distortion is specified is called TV distortion. You take the ratio of delta H and H to calculate distortion. Here, delta H is the difference in height between the corners and H is the center edge of the square. This is a nice optic studio demonstration of barrel distortion. A wide angle lens with a field of view of 100 degree is used here. As expected, the large field of view introduced enormous amounts of uh, distortion here. 